to highlight a patient of ours who's been on dental monitoring and wearing a liner since July 2021. So this is a patient of mine at CCC Smiles Mossman in Australia, Sydney, Australia. And this patient is uh, coming to me for orthodontic treatment. So this is day one and you can see the aligners have been fitted here. Um, and the first dental monitoring virtual app scan has been taken. So this was taken at our office. What you see here is midline shifts, uh, quite significant, um, really ectopic canine in an adult. Um, the lady is um, an African descent. We know that tend to be a lot more protrusive in nature. Um, extractions were a consideration. However, we decided to actually look at IPR and expansion as an option. In my personal view or subjective view, I do like a little bit of protrusive finish on uh, many of my patients, especially of African descent and also of Asian descent. I don't like to create a flat incisor retraction, often increases gumminess of the smile. So I often try to avoid extraction uh, unless it's severe crowding. Um, and in this case, we are borderline. However, we decided to proceed non-extraction first with IPR. Particularly, you see here, the one two is a really, really wide tooth. So we knew we could do some selective IPR here, as well as two two, which is abnormally wide. Um, not only would normalize the shape, it would also look aesthetically more pleasing and create space for alignment. So, and we also had some quite unusually wide lateral incisors, uh, which we knew we could again use some interproximal reduction to create space while creating space for expansion. Now, um, we cannot do too much expansion in this case. Uh, we are at the limit of dental arch expansion here. So what you're seeing is almost 18 months later, how we've managed to, you know, maintain some sort of incisor retraction. In fact, her lower incisors are less proclined than before. While getting that canine down, we are on the home run. And I'm very excited because I think in about you know three to five months this patient is finished. Um, we have tried different strategies of using uh, buttons here and uh, extruding it. Uh, however, number one lesson from this case is create space. So this patient had been called multiple times to do selective IPR slowly, gradually. Um, and how we know what you see here is every time the patient was wearing their line as well, green means they were told to change their aligners based on my doctor defaults. However, there were times when a liner wasn't fitting well. So if we see an aligner not fitting well, which we often detect in these views, we can slow down the patient until the aligner really fits well. However, we and what you see is a pause here. So obviously we stopped her set at number 27. We did a revision and then she started scanning again when she got her new aligners. So we decided to use a hook in the second set. Uh, but again, you know, it, it is about space creation. I mean, we always expect that that canine until their space will not be able to extrude. And we will continue to see unseats in that area. And you know, this is again, we're starting to see an unseat here. All the other teeth fit beautifully. So the patient are, is very compliant. Uh, let's look at a line of 10 of the second set. Patient is really compliant. The unseat is only coming here. So it is a big, big uh, bell, uh, warning bells to the operator. Hey, this needs more space. Hence, we continue to call the patient in, do more IPR. Now, I don't like to do all my IPR on day one, but we also decided to at times selectively ignore these unseats because we know that we are creating space. So the unseat gets much more worse here as the treatment goes. But we have decided to ignore that for, you know, because just because we built it in the clean check does not mean that that is the rate the tooth is going to progress. If the aligner is fitting on every other tooth, which we see here, there is no need to stop this treatment, scan again. What we need to do is continue to create space. So perhaps in our clean check, 
we extruded the tooth before the whole space was created. So obviously, this is a clean check planning issue where we've planned something, but we're seeing it in reality as an unseat. So we might think the patient's not compliant, but that's not true. So from Alina 16, 17, we noticed that it doesn't matter how bad the unseat here is on the canine, let's look at it without. And when we see without, the aligner, there's a significant improvement that one three has extruded, tipped, derotated, and it's all going really positively for her. Um, obviously, the patients probably stopped wearing class two elastic at this stage because midlines are coincident, which I think that's the case. Um, and now we have to do a final home stretch of bringing this tooth down. We also had a, a high canine on the other side but that has come down beautifully in this set. So we've had 29 aligners in this set and it's really come down quite nicely. So what we're going to be doing, and I can see very clearly, we still have a really wide lateral incisor here. So we will continue our IPR slowly and gradually, making sure patient doesn't get any sensitivity. Um, and we will continue some IPR down the lower to also retract incisors slightly. But if we look at from the very first time the patient came in, we have already retracted incisors significantly while doing non-extraction treatment using clever IPR, tooth size, you know, using the principles of tooth size discrepancy, understanding the limits of expansion. We now know we cannot do any more dental arch expansion. So if we are going to resolve crowding, we are going to have to rely even more on IPR um, and, um, and as, as well as the fact we're going to retract in sizes, meaning we need more space than we think. Anyways, I'm very, very excited because this case is on the home run. Patient's very happy, um, a delightful patient, and uh, we can't wait to finish her. So incredible changes and just showing you, you know, how... Um, Things can be done with the liners, dental monitoring, and how dental monitoring has really, really changed my practice. I cannot actually be a better clinician without it. This helps me get to another level. This shows me every little thing week by week. And we see how compliant our patients are. This lady has not missed any scans. And hence, you can see every week she's scanning, she's uploading, uh, even if she's traveling overseas. And this is what we get day in and day out because this is part of their treatment plan and that's what they commit to from day one. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you learned something here. Um, and I look forward to talking to you one day in one of our courses. Bye.